Hello and welcome to yet another video on this channel. In this video, we are uh, going to understand what we uh, mean by the Dijkstra's algorithm. Okay, and this Dijkstra's algorithm is supposed to give us the shortest path from a single source. Right? So you can see that there is a network given in form of a graph on the right hand side of your screen. And there are vertices named 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, right? And you can see that there are edges between these vertices. And each of these edges have got arrows between them. Uh, however, you know, you can also go ahead with undirected graph. But let's first study about the directed graph in this video. And um, the Dijkstra's algorithm deals with the shortest path of each of the vertices from a single source. So without loss of generality, let's assume that one, the vertex one is the uh, source vertex. Okay, so uh, let's write it down on the left hand side. So the source vertex is one, right? Let's represent the vertex in this form. Okay, now what we do here is we draw a table, right? A table consisting of all the vertices that can be reached from one. Uh, basically, you know, apart from one, we try to draw all the vertices. We, 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 will, we will have columns for each of the vertices. So the vertex two, the vertex three, the vertex four, and the vertex five. And in the first column, we'll be writing the current vertex, right? Okay, let's now try to solve this problem. Right. Okay. So first, let's consider the current vertex as the vertex one. Right. When we have the current vertex as the vertex one, what are the nearest neighbors of the vertex one? The nearest neighbors are two and three. Right. So this is the initialization part that is happening. Right. So during initialization, initialization. Right. Uh, the uh, non reachable non reachable vertices are awarded with infinity right okay so uh, we will what we'll do is we will write down the uh, cost of reaching the nearest vertices uh, based on the weights given on the edges of the of the uh, on, on, on the directed edges. So if you look very carefully, 4 is the weight on the edge connecting 1 and vertex 2. The vertex 1 and vertex 3 um, are connected by edge having the weight 2, whereas there is no vertex, uh, no edge connecting the vertex 1 and 4. So the initialization is infinity. There is no edge connecting the vertex 1 and vertex 4. So again, the uh, the, the the cost here is infinity. Fantastic. Now, what we do now is we will try to find out the least number from this particular row. And you can see that 2 is the least. Correct? And this 2 corresponds to the vertex 3. Right? So, let's color this vertex 3. So, the vertex 3 is the second vertex that we visit. So we'll reach vertex 3 now. Now the current vertex, the next step, in the next step, the current vertex is going to be 3. Great. Now uh, when we are, uh, when we try to uh, update these values, we are going to use a simple, very simple formula. So the distance to, the, to a particular vertex V is the distance to, distance to the current vertex. Let's say U is the current vertex. Right, u is the current, u is the current vertex plus the edge between u and v. Okay, so we are going to add this up, add the edge, the new edge, the weight on the new edge, and along with that, we are going to add the current value. So the current value can be obtained from the previous row and the um, 
and, and the edge value can be obtained from the graph. Of course, it is written on the edge. So let's see. Is there a vertex from 3 to 2? Yes, there is a. Is there an edge between 3 and 2? Yes, there is an edge from vertex 3 to vertex 2. And that edge has got a weight 1. Right? So what we do is that we will write 2 plus 1. Right? 2 plus 1. That is equal to 3. Okay. Now we have already. Uh, uh, we, we are on the edge 3. We are on the vertex 3, right? So basically, we would be writing uh, 2 over here. By the way, uh, we have written 3 here because this 3 is less than 4, which is written in the previous line, right? In the previous row. If it is not less, we write the same value. Not an issue. Okay. Now let's look at the vertex uh, 4. Is there it? Is there an edge from vertex 3 to vertex 4? Yes, there is an edge, right? So we will write 2 plus 4, which is equal to 6, and 6 is less than infinity, right? So uh, we will overrule, we'll update the value of infinity to 6. And uh, there is no edge from 3 to 5, hence we'll write infinity here. Okay, having said that, we have now successfully reached the end of this particular iteration and it's now time for us to identify which particular row to which particular um, you know vertex to uh, consider as the least value okay as you can see that 2 is the least value right but we have already taken this corresponding vertex 3 as the current vertex so we move on to the next lowest value which is 3 and 3 corresponds to the vertex 2 and hence let me scroll this page a little bit and hence we reach the current uh, vertex to be 2 we will consider 2 to be the current vertex okay great let's uh, highlight our current vertex right with a red color and that is our current vertex fantastic now let's uh, move on and let's uh, draw uh, our conclusion based on the numbers. What is the number that we are going to write here from 2 to 2? Well, we are not going to write anything here. Or maybe we are just going to write 3 because we are already on this particular vertex. Okay. Now from 2 to 3, there is no edge. Correct? There is no edge from 2 to 3. So we will just leave this 2. No problem. Now from 2 to 4, there is an edge over there. Now, how do we calculate the uh, uh, calculate the least distance over there? So what is the least distance in the previous step? It is 3, right? So we add 3 plus 2. From where does this 2 come from? This 2 comes from the edge weight of the edge between 2 and 4. And this gives us 5, right? And 5 is less than 6. So that's good. We'll retain this value 5 over here. Otherwise, we'll just write 6 over here. Anyhow, when we look at the edge between 2 to 5, right? So the edge starting at 2, ending at 5, that has a uh, weight of 6, right? So what we do is that we write 3. Why 3? Because 3 is the least number in the previous row, right? So 3 plus 6 which will give us a 9. Correct? Okay. Great. So we have got 3, 2, 5 and 9. Well, if you notice very carefully, we are already, we have already uh, looked into the uh, vertex 2 and the vertex 3. Right? So the vertex 2 has got a total weight of 3 and the vertex 3 has got a total weight of 2. We have already looked both of them. What we now look at is the minimum of 5 and 9. What is the minimum of 5 and 9? 5 is the minimum. And this 5 corresponds to the vertex 4. Right? Okay. Now, let's look into this with a little bit more, um, uh, another round for another round of iteration. Right? Okay. So, 
let's look at what is uh, whether there is a, a row from wh wh whether there is a edge from 4 to 2 well there is no edge from 4 to 2 so what we do is that we retain this value 3 over here is there an edge from 4 to 2 no so we retain this value 2 over here is there an edge from 4 to 4 no we retain this value 5 over here and even if there is an edge from 4 to 4 well you know that edge is kind of a, a useless edge when it comes to finding the shortest path right so we want the shortest path we don't want to elongate the path we don't want to come back to 4 again right so we will ignore that cycle which might be there on the edge 4 all right so let's look at the next one right so 4 uh, so, so so what is the least number on the previous uh, line the previous row that is 5 and what is the edge length edge weight of the edge from 4 to 5 that is 2 right so this would be 5 plus 2 and that will give us 7 7 is less than 9 so we'll retain this value and as you can see it very carefully um, I, mean, I mean of course it is quite obvious that we have already covered the uh, vertex 2 the vertex 3 and the vertex 4 the vertex 5 is the one which is left with us now if we go back and so so what we do now is maybe you know we will um, shade this vertex 5 maybe with this orange color on the top right corner you can see that and we shall write down 5 as the current vertex right no so from 5 there is no edge whatsoever from any part of the graph so we will just copy down whatever value was there in the previous row correct so that gives us the total the, so that gives us our answer right now this table is very important to us why is it important it gives us the following information right so let's write down um, the observation right the observation of this algorithm this observations observations so what are the observations the shortest path shortest path are as follows right so from from 1 to from vertex 1 to vertex 2 the shortest path length is 3 from vertex 1 to vertex 3 the shortest path length is 2 from vertex 1 to vertex 4 the shortest path length is 5 from vertex 1 to vertex 5 the shortest path length is 7 right okay so that's it for this video we will come back again in another video and explore some more properties of the Dijkstra's algorithm thank you